Kate Shelley from Best Buy Canada's blog and this past week I've been testing out the Fitbit Versa Lite. So this is the Fitbit Versa Lite. I've also been testing out the Fitbit Inspire HR. So this is the Fitbit Versa Lite in marine blue. I absolutely love the color. It has an optical heart rate monitor and it tracks almost everything and every type of activity that you'd want to do. The name uh, Fitbit Versa Lite comes from the fact that this watch, this smartwatch, is based on the Fitbit Versa. The original version um, was a little more full featured, but I, after using it for 10 days, I don't feel as though I, you're really missing anything. I've used them both. Um, so the Fitbit Versa Lite has all of these same onboard exercises, but it does not have a way to track stairs. Um, it also is waterproof up to 50 meters, so you can swim with it, but you um, can't track laps specifically. There's quite a di few different ways to customize this um, smartwatch for exercise. Um, I added circuit training via the app so that I use it for circuit training. I found it to be very responsive for circuit training. The calories burnt and the duration and the intensity um, along with the heart rate were pretty much bang on for what my other fitness watch um, was also tracking. So I know that it's very accurate. You can choose to um, use Strava with this um, smartwatch. You can add different apps. I added um, I added a few games and I added um, control for my Philips Hue lights as well as Strava and Spotify. If you swipe um, up on the menu screen, you can see your full day from that day. So all of your activity. So there's your steps. Um, you can see your uh, current heart rate as well as your resting heart rate. There's different distance um, because this watch does have GPS and you can uh, basically just scroll through and see exactly how you're doing for that specific day. And you can also get all of your smart notifications so you can uh, add all of your uh, favorite social media networks on the app and then you will see it pop up on the screen. I took the Fitbit Versa Lite out for a few runs. This is what it looks like in bright light. So it is very visible in bright light. All you have to do is flip your wrist and uh, there's your data. Um, I also used it for uh, quite a bit of circuit training. So this was right after I had uh, worked out and it shows you all of your stats, your heart rate and how many calories that you burned during your training. The optical heart rate monitor works very well. Um, I love how Fitbit will categorize your heart rate during exercise into um, the fat zone, um, fat burning zone, as well as the cardio zone and the um, peak zone. I find that when you get into the peak zone, it's almost too much, so it's good to dial it down if you see, um, according to your heart rate, that you're just going, um, you're exerting too much effort. You can add different apps to the um, Versa Lite. I added the Philips Hue app as well as um, Spotify, as I mentioned. Um, so you can control, um, I can control the lights in my house just by tapping the watch. I've talked before about how much I love the Fitbit app. I think it's a great app. It has all of your stats right on a dashboard and everything that the Versa Lite will track will be available right on the main screen. Just a few of my favorite things on the Fitbit app are the days active so that you can scroll back and see all of your workouts. Um, I like how you can see um, your heart rate right underneath each workout so you know how intense it was for you. You can also click on each individual exercise and see um, more detailed um, stats inside. So what the impact had on that on your day, what your workout with calories and everything. Um, you can see a full range of data on your heart rate. I do think that with this watch and also with the Inspire HR, it takes a couple of days for it to get a baseline on you so that your heart rate is accurate when you're working out. Um, I didn't feel as though it had the right um, resting heart rate until maybe day three, but I think that's pretty normal with a fitness tracker. This uh, VersaLite also tracks your sleep. Um, I always love sleep tracking because it can uh, give me an idea the next day of why I'm so tired. Um, it shows your um, deep sleep, your light sleep, and your time awake. There's also a, a screen that you can see your active minutes that day. So if you weren't sure just how much you were moving, um, all you have to do is tap the screen and you get a good idea. In the Fitbit Versa Lite settings, you can add new apps. You can change your clock face. Um, you can mix up your exercises so that you um, have new exercises all the time. 
Um, it's very easy to change your watch face. All you have to do is scroll through the Fitbit store. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is that some of them do cost money, so you will find out as soon as you try to install them whether or not you have to pay. There are also other settings in the Fitbit uh, screen. You can uh, choose what your main goal is, so I said steps. You can choose which wrist you're wearing it on. And there's also all of the apps available so that all you have to do is tap to install them. There's a full app store on the Versalite. Um, so yeah, you just scroll through, take a look. I would probably add the Starbucks app, but I really like that there's also um, healthy eating apps and general utilities like I would use um, on my phone every day. The Fitbit Versalite is a versatile smartwatch. I love it. It's Even though I've used the Fitbit Versa and I knew the features on that one, I don't miss any of them on the Fitbit Versalite. The marine blue is an amazing color. I absolutely love it. And the um, optical heart rate monitor works really, really well. It's easily viewable in bright light. Um, it tracks your heart rate during exercise very accurately. And it's a great smartwatch choice. If you're trying to choose between a fitness tracker like the Inspire HR or a smartwatch like the Fitbit Versa Lite. I honestly like them both. I thought they both had great qualities. They both have a lot of similar features. Um, so if you're looking for the apps and the onboard GPS, then the Versa Lite would be a great choice. And if you're looking for a simple, easy to wear fitness tracker, the Inspire HR is also a great choice. So that's it for my look at the Fitbit Versa Lite. You can see my full written review as well as other photos on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.